Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. In an article posted on the block, written by Osato Avendomeo, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong has revealed plans to sell a portion of his stock in the U.S. exchange behemoth in order to finance scientific and technological development. Armstrong confirmed this in a Twitter thread on Friday, stating that he will sell approximately 2% of his Coinbase share. Armstrong controls 16% of the company as CEO. The Coinbase CEO intends to sponsor scientific and technological development, according to the release. I'm passionate about speeding science and technology to help tackle some of the world's most pressing problems, Armstrong added. In addition, the Coinbase CEO stated that his choice to sell some of his shares does not reflect a desire to stand down as the company's CEO. Armstrong stated that he plans to continue running Coinbase for a very long time, adding, I remain incredibly enthusiastic on crypto and Coinbase. I'm fully committed to expanding our business and furthering our cause, but I'm also delighted to contribute in a new way. A article posted on usethebitcoin.com stated, MetaMask's popular wallet now offers a new capability. Users in the United States can now purchase virtual currencies with their bank accounts. This is achievable because of a recent integration between MetaMask and ACH. As a result, MetaMask continues to provide unique solutions to individuals seeking access to digital currency. MetaMask customers in the United States will soon be able to make crypto purchases using their bank accounts through their wallets. Sardine, an ACH solution platform, confirmed that they were not playing games. Sardine released a tweet on Twitter in which they announced that they are now making payments faster and safer for MetaMask users. This would make it easy for U.S. customers to buy their preferred virtual currencies without going through a centralized crypto exchange. As a result, it will speed up and simplify the process for beginners to the crypto business. Your MetaMask account will be credited in seconds. That's how to buy digital currency using Sardine and MetaMask. In recent years, cryptocurrency exchanges have added support for several payment methods so customers can buy virtual currencies. Crypto wallets made buying virtual currencies faster and easier. These wallets let you store virtual currencies without third-party services. Long-term crypto holders should safeguard their digital currencies in cryptocurrency wallets. Always use Trezor, Coldcard, or Ledger cold storage wallets. So, your funds are safe from hackers and only you may access them. Future virtual currency buyers might benefit from bank transfers and easier payment methods. Bear markets are ideal for firms and crypto projects to build and offer new solutions, notably fiat on-ramps. During the next bull run, investors could get digital currencies without a centralized exchange. You must supply bank account details, wallet addresses, and a phone number to use Sardine service. New York man faces 25 years in prison for running unregistered money transfer firm to launder Bitcoin, BTC. A federal jury convicted Mustafa Gaklu of laundering BTC from narcotics sales, according to the DOJ. Under the name Mustangi, Gaklu offered to buy and convert BTC for a fee in July 2018. Undercover federal investigators swiftly responded by arranging additional money transactions totaling $133,000. Gaklu was caught in April 2019 following seven undercover transactions. The undercover investigator told the defendant many times that narcotics trafficking was the source of the BTC he was exchanging. Oxycodone, Adderall, and marijuana. The transactions were placed in the defendant's parked Mercedes-Benz, a Sunnyside coffee shop, and Manhattan. Each transaction involved $5,000 to $50,000, totaling $133,000. Gaklu laundered Bitcoin for other entities, according to trial evidence. Attorney Brian Peace said. The defendant allowed his customers to launder criminal money, remain anonymous, and hide where their Bitcoin came from so they could continue drug trafficking and other crimes undetected. 
Frax Finance will release its Ethereum liquid staking mechanism in two weeks. The launch will let users to stake Ether, ETH, and get a liquid derivative token called Frax Ether, FRXETH. The derivative will replicate Ether's price and be freely exchanged on DeFi. Frax's liquid staking token has passed a security audit ahead of mainnet deployment. The project set up a curve pool so FRXETH may be swapped for ETH with low or no slippage. Frax Finance's stablecoin uses collateral and algorithmic procedures to maintain a 1 colon 1 peg with the US dollar. Its stablecoin is backed by hard collateral, namely USD coin, USDC, and Frax Finance's FXS governance token. Frax's decentralized liquid staking rivals Lido Finance and Rocket Pool. Frax team, get ready for the most fascinating ETH liquid staking derivative from a big stable coin issuer. Frax's liquid staking works how? First, users stake ETH using Frax ETH Minter, a function that mints liquid derivatives related to deposited ETH. Frax will spin Ethereum validators with customers' ETH to produce a staking yield. This solution lets people delegate their assets to the protocol to simplify setting up validators. Users must trade the first derivative token, FRXETH, for staked Frax Ether, SFRXETH, to get staking yield from Frax's Ethereum validators. This second coin will gain value relative to Ether over time. Converting SFRXETH to FRXETH collects interest. Moving on to an article posted on Bitcoinist.com implied. Since implementing SHIB, the Shiba Inu community has been tremendously committed. This burn reduced the cryptocurrency's supply to boost its value. The number of burns has risen. Hundreds of millions of tokens are reportedly burned every week. 48 transactions burned SHIB coins, increasing the mean coin's 7-day burn rate. It revealed a 260% increase in tokens burned and token burning transactions. 108.6 million tokens were burned in 34 transactions the week before. Shiba Inu has been successful, but its overall supply limits how much it can increase. Thus, the SHIB burn. The SHIB burn, while promising, hasn't reduced the digital assets supply. According to CoinMarketCap, 549 billion SHIB are circulating. In another article posted on The Bitcoinist, David Schwartz, Ripple CTO and one of the XRP Ledger's original architects, discussed an EVM sidechain. His idea was to let developers execute Ethereum smart contracts on the XRP Ledger, XRPL. Today, XRPL is closer to the same. RippleX developers Mayuka Vadari claimed that Pierceist has implemented and published the first step of the XRPL EVM sidechain. This lets developers use Ethereum's solidity in XRPL. Vadari contends that the bridge between EVM and XRP Ledger has many benefits. Many crypto developers pick Ethereum or EVM compatible networks because of solidity and a large ecosystem of developer tools and dApps, decentralized applications. XRPL speed, cheap cost, sustainability, and other attributes appeal to developers. XRPL DevNet Test EVM Sidechain Phase 2 of the project will feature a permission-free EVM sidechain and a testing bridge in 2022. In a controlled context, test scalability. Phase 3's release date is undetermined. Then, the XRPL main net will be implemented. The EVM sidechain will support Ethereum smart contracts and apps such as MetaMask, Remix, and Truffle in all three phases. Developers can now try out the EVM sidechain using the XRPL native XUMM wallet or the Ethereum-based MetaMask wallet. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted, we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1,000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can.
We will be watching who tags who and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.